Fixold Cameras produces step-by-step, close-up videos of simple, common repairs and basic maintenance on classic and vintage cameras. Your ability, the quality of your tools, and the condition of your camera will affect the success of your repair endeavor. A successful completion of the demonstrated repairs ultimately depends on your camera repair skills. Over time, the PC socket on a Canon AE-1 program can work loose and break connection. To access, the top cover will need to be removed. Using tweezers, remove the advanced lever decorator cover leatherette, revealing the two shutter button cover retaining screws. Please note that additional double-sided sticky tape might be needed on the advanced lever leatherette upon reassembly. After removing the shutter button cover screws, work the shutter button cover free and then use a spanner wrench on the advanced lever retaining screw. The advanced lever retaining screw is turned counterclockwise to remove. With the advanced lever removed, lift the advanced lever cam washer free. Use snap ring pliers to remove the lock lever and the timer lever. A spring washer will also need to be removed. To remove the rewind knob, lock the rewind shaft and spin the rewind knob counterclockwise. Again, using snap ring pliers, remove the ASA dial cover. Now remove the ASA dial cover and the ASA dial linkage. Remove the screw on the advanced lever side of the camera. Be sure to use a cross point screwdriver as a Phillips screwdriver may damage the head of a cross point screw. Remove the screw on the rewind side of the camera and then remove the two screws beside the viewfinder. The four screws that hold the lens mount cover plate will also need to be removed. One is located on the front of the lens mount. One is on the rewind side. One on the bottom. And finally one located on the advanced side of the camera. The lens mount cover plate can now be lifted free. Take note of the position of the stop down preview button on the rewind side of the lens mount cover plate. There are two final top cover screws located on either side of the prism just above the lens mount. For the sake of reference only, the shutter speed dial can be set on program. Now the top cover can be lifted free. Watch for wires attached to the top cover. The wires have been disconnected from the top cover to better show the condition of the PC socket. It has worked loose and spun around to the point where it has broken the wire connection. It simply needs to be threaded back into place. If used with care, adjustable pliers can be used to tighten down the PC socket. Otherwise, a flexi clamp will need to be used. Once the flash socket is seated tightly, the broken connection will need to be repaired. Position the top cover as shown. With your left hand, take a pair of tweezers and access the wire through the opening of the ASA dial. Position the wire against the contact of the PC socket and solder quickly. Test the wire for proper connection. Replace the top cover and reassemble in reverse order. Remember to align the timer and the lens lock with the notches of their respective levers. Also, don't forget to seat the advanced lever spring washer between the advanced lever and the advanced lever retaining screw. The ASA post and ASA dial need to be aligned as well. After seating the ASA dial spring, make sure the ASA dial cover seats into the notches. A slight rocking of the cover will generally achieve this. The ASA dial cover will need to be held in place as the snap ring is reinstalled. There is nothing noteworthy in the remainder of the reassembly steps. Thank you for watching.